and he's sitting there just cussing me. Rick Bass, you son of a... Dub, 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 just cussed me for everything he's worth. <laughs> I, I was very, 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 very first time I went there. We were running one of those friggin' qualifying races. You didn't have 10,000 cars show up and for five spots, and you had to run the qualifying races. And uh, that was that was a race within itself. It goes back to the, being there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And we'd have, uh, I think it was 100, it was 104 or 114 cars the first time I showed up there. I think our starting field was 36. So you qualified, and then you had to run all these heat races and uh, to get in. And I remember... In one of the heat races, we're going in turn one, and I'm under a guy like this, and he comes right straight down on me, and he spins, and of course I spin too, and we're sitting there on that curb as it used to be, the curb when you spin on the inside and your wheels are spinning, and I'm door to door, door, I'm door to door with this guy, and I look over at him, and he's sitting there just cussing me, Rick Bass, you son of a, dub, 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 just cussed me for everything he's worth. I'm like, what the heck's wrong with this dude? And it was Eddie Falk, if everybody remembers, Eddie Falk, right? And I, I remember sitting there cussing, and I was mad too. And I got the car straightened out and went back on the, went back on the racetrack. And I remember, th for some reason, it struck me funny, and I just started laughing. So I went. I didn't know these people from Adam, you know. And I went up to him after the race was over, and I said, "You the man sitting there cussing? Me? Yeah, the man cussing you." I said, "Why?" You wrecked me. I said, Eddie, you came down. I, didn't, I said, Eddie, you came down on me. I didn't wreck you. You wrecked both of us. And he cussed me and fussed. But after that, we become the best friends. Me and Eddie and his family, we, we were just the best friends. And uh, but the thing about Martinsville, you just you, it's kind of like Bristol. You can't go there as a driver and expect to be in a good mood the whole race. You got to learn to temper yourself. You got to learn that you're going to get wrecked. You, you're you're going to hit somebody. You're going to get hit, and it's not anybody's fault. It's the product of Martinsville Speedway. It's just the way it is. You're going to get wrecked, and you're going to wreck people. Mm -hmm.